All right, guys, we finally got this tail cable hooked up on the Huey Dewey. I'm going to have to make some adjustments here. Get the cable a little tighter to stay to that side like there. And uh, I just want to try to share some things about uh, this phasing that I've been learning about the blade phasing. Let me start right here. On a, let's say on a four blade helicopter, it, it almost still sets up like, uh, you could set a four rotor up like a fly bar. You know, this position would be like your fly bar angle. But, if you had, let's say, a three rotor, right, you wouldn't have a fly bar position anymore. Or let's say if you had a five rotor blade, uh, you wouldn't have a fly bar position anymore. So then you would have to um, mechanically set up the swash plate for phasing. And you'd have to go into the programming software under the swash. And then you have to go in here and adjust this swash plate around till it's in a phasing position, I guess, with the uh, what you have set up with this head. Basically, they're telling me I'll need to uh, set a blade in, in this position uh, with the angle of the boom here. And when I push the elevator, this blade should move. And as, so far as I've learned, uh, when I push the elevator, that blade doesn't move, then uh, I'm set up properly. But uh, I won't be able to go any further until I get the servos in the next couple of days so I can uh, uh, try and show you guys how this is done. Um, we may be getting ready to do a five rotor T-Rex 600, possibly. And... Uh, Learning a little bit from this stuff here. Yeah, we got the tail of the Thor type. Oh, this is a fun piece of work to set up this boom, I call it a L boom. What the L? But uh, she's looking good so far. So good. So I get these here psychic servos in the next couple of days using uh, Corona Metal Gear Digital Version 2 which I'm pretty excited about. But uh, stay tuned. We're uh, almost there. That's all she's waiting for now. And look at the CG on her already, too. I'm going to have to put something heavy in the front of this. Have Yep, the CG is very important. I'll find something to stick on this thing. Uh, I hope that uh, what I'm planning on doing is seeing if we could use like some 3,000 or 4,000 milliamp LiPo batteries uh, to help balance the helicopter and give it added flight time. Thanks for watching.